hey guys welcome back to the channel so in this video we'll be discussing about sequence file formats so for sequence file formats we'll talk about different databases and how they are stored and how the profiling looks like so let's get started with this so let's just get to the definition first before we get into databases so uh, as per definition a sequence is a linear set of characters a which are sequence elements representing nucleotides or amino acids so nucleotides can be of dna or rna and amino acids are there are 20 amino acids as we know so sequence can be a linear set of characters which can be a c d g as for nucleotides and there are 20 different alphabets for amino acids due to 20 different amino acids so moving on with this so let's talk about the representation of sequences so these are characters these are simplest cause they are just uh, abbreviated or denoted by a single letter alphabets and they're easy to read edit and all of it also they are bit coding uh, that means they are more contact both uh, compact both on disk and in memory are also comparisons more efficiently so they can be easily coded into something or they can be added or aligned so that we can get its alignment score and everything so that is how it works so moving on with this so talking about character representation of sequences so this is very easy thing so i hope you know all of these if not DNA or RNA uses one letter code uh, which is ACGT as it is true for protein as well it uses one letter code and can convert to or from three letter codes so it can be one letter or can be three letter code so so that you know, one can be differentiated from other but moving on with this so we'll talk about the some of these common formats uh, not all of these in this video but we uh, will talk about a part of this uh maybe of till faster gene bank in this so we'll talk about plain sequence format embl format fasta gene bank and also we'll study about gcg asn and ig format in our next coming videos so moving on with this so talking about plain sequence format firstly so a plain sequence format is a sequence uh, in plain format may contain only ipa sync characters and spaces no numbers so this is very important to understand so this is a example sequence in plain format so this contains only the sequences uh, with no spaces no characters no numbers and nothing so uh, also a thing to note is a file in plain sequence format may only contain one sequence while most other formats accept several sequences in one file so it may contain one sequence it may contain more than one sequence but preferably it contains only one sequence all right and not more uh, uh, not sequences which are multiple uh, contain genes of multiple organisms so moving on so let's talk about the first format as we said so we have talked about embl so you can just refer to my previous lectures for embl in biological databases so you can just check out the video for embl so you can get all of the information related to it so we'll talk about the format in this now so a sequence file in embl can contain several sequences so it is not restricted to one sequence only also one sequence entry starts with an identifier which is the id so as you can see here we have the id so this is the must when we study about embl formats okay and further it is denoted by annotations line annotation lines so there are some of the annotation lines such as ac xx de de xx xq all right also the start of the sequence is marked by a line starting with sq all right so start of the sequence from here our sequence starts all right so it is start uh, denoted or started it starts with sq all right and ends with two backlashes all right so as it's written it is marked by two uh, lashes so these are uh, some of the informations about this pardon this is a front lash i guess so these are uh, marked by two lashes as said so this is the sequence we have and this is the id and this is sq through which it starts so moving on with so let's talk about some of the fasta formats so a sequence in fasta format begins with a single line description followed by lines of sequence data 
this description line is distinguished from the sequence data by a greater than symbol in the first column so we'll uh, see the faster format how it looks like and also the gene bank format which is the dna centered view of sequence record all right so this is uh, just remember this is a dna centered view of sequence record which is called gene bank format and we'll talk about faster sequence the sequence right now so talking about gene banks uh, format so let's talk about gene bank format first before moving to the fasta so in this sequence file in gene bank format can contain several sequences so a uh, one sequence in gene bank format starts with a line containing the word locus so it starts with the word locus just remember all of these so it starts with the word locus for in gene bank format and a number of annotation lines so you can see like definition accession number base account base count origin all of these and the start of the sequence is marked by a line containing origin so this is denoted by origin all right whereas in the previous embl it starts with sq and it ends by two lashes okay it's same as embl all right and this contain here in the contains the sequences all right so this was the gene bank format so locus contains a number of names a different uh, informations about the genes all right so whether it's of dna how long is it and all of the numbers and everything and it contains the definition of uh, which species is it uh, all of it all right this is the accession number which is unique base count is uh, depends on that only so this is how the gene bank format looks like moving uh, forward so we'll talk about the differences so before moving on the differences let me just show you the faster format as well in this so it is no no less different so it starts by a greater than symbol as you can see all right so it starts by a greater than symbol so then we have the entire sequence like this and it stops with a greater than symbol here as well all right so that's the simple difference whereas in gene bank format as i told you it starts with locus and it has all of the annotations such as the definition accession number keyboard source organism all of it and ends with two backlashes all right also most software tools accept fasta or gene bank formats so this is very important so most of the tools whenever if you want to extract or know information regarding these sequences so that will only ex uh, only be accepted uh, whether the sequence is in uh, fasta format or gene bank format so there are a lot hell number of uh, databases and websites so where you can convert your sequences into faster format one of the easiest is ncbi so go so you can go visit ncbi and search the desired organism you, of which the uh, sequences you want so you can just search the uh, desired organism and you can get the sequences as you get the sequences you will get a to on the top of the sequences you will get a option as faster so click on faster and you will get sequences like this all right so after you get the sequences like this you can just copy the entire sequences by control c and you can just paste it by control v onto the desired database or website so that you can extract information out of these sequences so uh, moving on uh, with the so we'll talk about gcg let's just uh, let me just introduce this in this video so gcg is genetic computer group all right so gcg is also known as the wisconsin package stands for genetic computer group and it is an integrated software package of routines to access manipulate and analyze nucleotides and protein sequences all right so most gcg programs have an emboss equivalent and the gcg light webs uh, interface will continue to function with the same look and feel but will run emboss programs behind the scene so gcg is basically command line programs so this is just a sort of a power software thing software package which uh, which can access or which which is used to analyze different sort of uh, nucleotide and protein sequences all right so let's just keep this video till here i'll be back with another video very soon uh, and we'll continue from here on Uh, to the later part of this uh, video as well so thank you for watching this video stay tuned for more